All right, anatomy and physiology students, this is a review of the skeletal muscle tissues from, from the lab. As always, I'd like to remind you that you should use your wish list as you look through this to be sure you are just identifying the things that I ask you to know because there may be other things labeled on the slides. Um, so for starters, this is skeletal muscle tissue through the microscope, pretty high power, um, and you can see they're fairly large cells. The cells are running lengthwise on the slide here. They call them skeletal muscle fibers. I like to avoid that. We'll just, just call them cells. And they have striations, which we'll see much better in some subsequent slides under higher power. The paramecium around the bundles of fibers, and of course you can see multinucleated cells with those multiple nuclei out of the cell membrane. So each one of these is a cell with its multiple multiple nuclei, a cell with its multiple nuclei. In the next slide here, you see the cell skeletal muscle slides even higher power now with the cells running horizontally across the slide. Um, and of course, you can also see the multiple nuclei, nuclei on the surface of the slide and those beautiful striations, which represent, remember, the actin and myosin proteins all lined up. The proteins are lengthwise along the length of the fiber or along the length of the muscle cell, but where they all line, you'd have like a, a whole bunch of myosins lined up and then a whole bunch of actins, a whole bunch of myosins, a whole bunch of actins like that in, subs, in subsequent, um, in sequence or in series like that, creating the striations. And so it's not, I'll show you in the next slide, there's again a skeletal muscle cell slightly different stain. You can nicely see the striations and lots of the nuclei on the surface. Yet another one. What you should be aware of, what you should be aware of, or to be specific, when I say the striations represent, it's not exactly just all the myosins and then the actins. There's a bunch of subtlety to that, places where the actin and myosin overlap and don't. You can look it up and learn all the H and A and I zones and all that, but I'm not not that concerned about that, just that you can appreciate what you're actually seeing is all the shadow of all the proteins lined up together and that they run in series along the length of the slide, alternating actins, myosins, actins, myosins, actin, myosins. Okay, um, here you're looking at cardiac muscle cells. Um, they're much smaller, uh, usually with just one or two nuclei. They do have striations, you don't see them that well, and they have these intercalated discs, which we'll see much better in subsequent slides. There you go, the cells are running across the, the, the slide like this, and you can see where the cells touch or connect. They have those nice intercalated discs that help carry action potentials from one cell to the next, so they all beat or or contract in unison. And there you can nicely see the striations. More cardiac muscle, really nice striations. Um, you can see the cells sometimes kind of split like that and they connect at those intercalated discs which are all over the slide. Yeah. All right, now we're on to smooth muscle tissue. This is the wall of the intestines. You can see the entire intestine that's been cut across here under slightly higher power. You had this nice layer of smooth muscle tissue in here. And here you can see it up close. Uh, much more indistinct form to the smooth muscle tissue. You don't have any striations. The cells kind of jumble on top of each other, single nucleated cells. And you know, here's another view of those smooth muscle cells, yet another one. The best description I can come for them is they look like a bunch of guppies or fish swimming you know, upriver together or something like that. You can clearly see the nuclei. You can see the small cells kind of all jumbled together. And they're very different muscular contraction, much slower. They don't have the striations. Um, a, that kind of rhythmic and peristaltic action that we think of for smooth muscle cells. Um, again, just a higher power, closer view of the smooth muscle cells showing the nice single nuclei. Again, just kind of looking like a bunch of guppies or fish jumbled on top of each other. So that's it for muscle cell tissue. Uh, hope that helps you out with your studying. Goodbye.